Why? Hello and welcome everybody. Also, good morning. So today I wanted to go ahead and give you guys, I think it is day five progression of the Righteous Fire build. Uh, we only played about, I think, four and a half hours yesterday, so I think this fits really well for the progression series. Um, so yeah, let's talk about what we did. Um, so we are level 92, uh, pushing uh, almost, nine, not almost 93, but we'll be at probably like 94 by the end of the day. Um, <clears throat> our Atlas has been... Uh, uh, being it's basically being fleshed out quite nicely uh, we're still doing the cage strat where basically we are limiting our map pool so we are only doing one tier 11 map which is cage uh, and the reason for that is to get chains that bind that drop out of there i'm actually quite convinced it would just straight up be better to do this strategy in residence i think uh carve was talking about how basically since there are only um four natural tier 16s you can just horizon orb everything into residence and residence i believe drops dapper prodigy which i think is just a better version of chains that bind but cage is really high drop rate for chains that bind so i'm just gonna roll with it also chains that bind also drops out of cells which is a tier 15 map uh so that's nice to know as well um i also recombinated myself a weapon yesterday uh pretty nice it's actually virtually almost identical to the multi-modded scepter i would craft except i didn't multi-mod because i used recombinators so essentially what i did is in this tab here i think if you guys have watched a uh, part of the progression series you'll know what this is so i have like the perfect bases perfect base being 40 percent ellie scepter and i'm just doing reforge fire as i you know reforge fire or reforge caster on weapons is very common and if I get something with plus one fire, I'll stick it over here. Um, and then based off of the, you know, the mods it has. So like this one has a spell damage prefix. So that one I didn't, I didn't really recombinate. But say, for example, this one is a prime one, right? This one has, this is my old scepter. It has plus one to all uh, fire on the left. And it also has the 20 fire multi with burn. So I could technically recombinate that with like uh, something with percent fire damage as a prefix and like a dot multi suffix would work out well even like a hybrid spell damage and i would throw those together and you know if you don't get anything you don't get anything if you do get something you got a usable weapon so that's pretty nice uh let's see other than that uh i think i did get a new pair of gloves so i was doing reforge life slash reforge chaos on my gloves uh we ended up getting t3 increased life regen but we also got like 100 total life and then it's on apothecary base which i like a lot until you put your eldritch influences since they give increased damage over time uh, and then i crafted plus one gems for them so until i get my delirium set up not delirium my uh, essence of horror this is where my uh, fire trap is gonna go because it gives a plus one from the gloves and then they also have a suffix i could slam which would be pretty cool to get a res or chaos res or really anything even flat regen would be good but i'd prefer not uh, other than that i think all the gear is the same uh cluster jewels are the exact same i did get lucky and i dropped myself a uh here we go i got a four passive burn damage item level 77 so this one i'm going to try to roll with flow of life and whatever else rolls um quite literally whatever else rolls i just really like flows of life um yeah with that being said talk about my atlas strategy so um we are still full harvest uh, i have expedition still for expedition gamba at some point we are full shrines we have full strong boxes for the most part um i still have this safe house intelligence for katarina uh, and then last <clears throat> i don't know if i like this but basically deviated over here and i came and i'm essentially going to get the remnant of corruption farm going um, the reason for this is I want to build a base of Remnant of Corruption so I can respect the Remnant of Corruptions because you want the Remnants of Corruption before you start your Essence Strat. I know that they'll like pile in like crazy, but I'm trying to get them ahead of time. So that's where we're going right now with these last two points. All right, though, with that being said, let me go jump in and throw in a T11 cage map for you guys. Remember, we're still running on a five link, nothing crazy here, so... Ooh, Delirium. On a side note, this new Fire Trap MTX is awesome. Big fan of it. 
And display capture? That's not right. Oop. That's a divine orb. Also just realized again, I'm on my Warcraft keybinds. There we go. I know because every time I press four on my mouse, it doesn't use my flask, and I'm like, wait, what? Alright, we're gonna try Sentinel here at Delirium, but it does slow me down massively, but that increased quantity is really nice for trying to hit div guards. Unlucky. Every time a Harvey pops up when I hit my uh my Sentinel. Harby, stop! Yeah, we lost Delirium there. Shouldn't have hit Sentinel, to be honest. Beast of Burden. I think it's probably time on this character that I drop my life flask. Just haven't gotten around to doing that yet. That was actually pretty unlucky. I haven't actually ran that many cage maps. I'd probably say I've run less than 10 cage maps to get five cards. I do want to say one of them came out of a cells, but that's not too big of a deal. No thank you on heist rewards. Yep, but that is pretty much the character. Uh, as for what we're doing now, uh, I do want to push to get my... Uh, my Eater and my Searing Exarch on here because then I get my two Void Stones and then I get like an extra 50% chance at plus one map. Uh, that's going to be like huge, so that's going to be really good. Still working on fleshing out the Atlas over here uh, along with all of the unique maps. Still trying to uh, still trying to harvest craft a lot of gear, uh, getting ready for the Essence Swap, so pretty excited. Pretty excited. Uh, anyway, though, I'm going to catch you guys all later. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Uh, if you did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day, but Mondays. I think I may be switching up the schedule so we take Mondays off instead of Sundays. So that should be pretty, pretty fun, actually. Uh, but for now, I'm out. See you guys all later.